And you all know, you've heard that about the tip of the iceberg, that 90% of the iceberg is underwater. And what does that mean? Well, the best way to see that is if you make your own iceberg by filling a water balloon. Just take a balloon and fill it with water and then put it in the freezer overnight. And if you do that, you'll end up with your own private iceberg. And you can put that in a tank of water. Here we go. And you can see through the side of that tank that, oh, that one peeled too, <laughs> um, that most of that chunk of ice is below the water. In fact, a huge amount. I can say the words 90%, and you know that that means a lot. But look at this thing, the tiny little bit that's on the surface and the huge amount that's underwater. So I'll, I'll finish peeling this balloon off. And there we have it. We have this wonderful iceberg. So let me add a little postscript here. Take the ice balloon and put it on a tray and look at those beautiful rows of air bubbles in there. And then take a little salt. You can use just normal table salt. And those of you that come from winter climates will know what happens when you sprinkle salt on an iceberg. Sprinkle salt on the tail of the iceberg. Well, it's a little hard to see what's happening. So I'll put a little food coloring in there. And what you'll see happening is that the salt is causing the ice to melt and flow over the outside in these beautiful paths. I'll add a little more coloring. And in fact, you can see little streams that meander. You might have seen rivers on land that meander, that twist and wind as they flow down. Well, the streams of salt water that are flowing out and down this iceberg They branch and meander just like real rivers. So I encourage you that once you've made your ice balloon to explore it with salt. Oh, here's, here's a really nice set here, Ron. Right there, there's some wonderful meandering streams that come down. I think I'll give you a little bit more color there. There we go. And you can see these look very much like rivers. Now, the process of making the meanders on an ice chunk is a little different than making the meanders in sandstone. But here you can do it at home and analyze those patterns. So I really encourage you, make an ice balloon. And whatever you do, don't throw it at anybody. This is like the nuclear weapon of water balloon battles. So don't do that. So this is Paul Doherty from the Exploratorium with Ice Stories, how to do icebergs in your home kitchen.